二零一一年一月，中国第五代战机。Stealth fighter J-20 project might have moved quicker than everyone would have thought of. Some Russian military analysts predicted that the J-20 might enter into service around 2017 to 2018. Recent images circulating on the internet and reported by some Chinese media have indicated that the Chinese J-20 stealth fighter might have already done some weapons test. When the United States F-35 was conducting bomb dropping test, its body was marked with circular dots or sensors similar to what people see here on the J-20. So how does the J-20 compares with the Russian Pak Far fighter or the F-35? Two Australian military analysts did a preliminary assessment on the Chengdu J-20 prototype. Both Dr. Michael Pelosi and Dr. Carlo Cop came to the following conclusion: "Quote." Overall, the stealth shaping of the J-20 prototype design is without doubt considerably better than that seen in the Russian T-50 Pak Far prototype, and even more so than that seen in the intended production configuration of the United States F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. Unquote. Lieutenant General David Deptula, former Air Force retired chief, once said, "The J-20." Like the F-22, would be able to cruise at supersonic speed at very high altitudes, and the fighter may turn out to be a very, very formidable aircraft, according to a report from Russian military analysis. The J-20, China's fifth-generation stealth fighter, is able to penetrate the United States air defense systems. The Russian report said that the stealth technology used by the J-20 is very similar to that used by the American F-22. Its stealth capability is far better than the F-35 and even the Russian-built Pak Far fighter. It said, "Considered a fighter bomber similar to the United States F-111 of the Cold War era, the J-20's range would enable it to reach the Pacific Second Island chain of the Philippines and Guam." With mid-air refueling, it could be extended further. The J-20 already boasts better aerodynamic performance than the F-35, F-18, and F-18EF currently used by the various branches of the United States Armed Forces. The report said that between 400 and 500 J-20 aircraft will be produced to replace the Su-27 SK and Su-33 MKK currently deployed by the Chinese PLA Air Force. However, Lauren Thompson, an analyst at the Lexington Institute, Arlington, Virginia, argues that the J-20 appears to have a particularly small radar cross-section only from the front, somewhat like the United States Navy's F-18 Super Hornet. Analyst Richard Abelafia of the Teal Group shares Thompson's view that the Chinese lack the system's integration skills and the technology for a true fifth-generation fighter. While predicting the J-20 will enter service between 2017 and 2018, the Russian report also stated some weaknesses and limitations of China's first stealth fighter, namely the fact that Russia has refused to export advanced jet engines to China, creating a major headache for the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, which developed the fighter.